Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Solar Radiation, Global Warming and Human Disease. And we're going to talk about wireless radiation and how to detect these wireless radiation fields. I've actually got some pieces of test equipment. I'm going to go through them and for detecting wireless radiation, this is invaluable. This is a standard AM radio. And all you have to do with the AM radio is tune it into static. So you just want to find somewhere that's quiet on the dial that doesn't have a radio station, very little background noise, and you've got yourself a nice little detector of wideband radio wave emissions. And many, many electrical products give out wideband radio emissions. And even your home cabling, the home wiring, will give out wideband radio emissions at certain times of the day. So this is probably the most useful out of all the pieces of test equipment that I own. And it's also the cheapest. So if you're gonna do this wireless radiation research, an AM radio is your starting point. So as you get further into it, you're gonna to want to get one of these. Pretty much every electromagnetic researcher today owns one of these. This is the Trifield meter. It's the 100 XE and it detects magnetic, electric, and radio microwave fields. But as most researchers have found, the radio microwave is it's very good around microwave ovens, but it doesn't work very well on other fields. It's very hard to detect other fields with it. The magnetic fields work very well, and so do the electric fields. This is probably, out of all the meters that I have, this is the one that I go to after the AM radio. So this and an AM radio will really get you into the field of electromagnetic field research. And these cost about $150. So they're not too expensive, particularly when you compare it to just a month of medical insurance, which in America is about $600. So this is about a week's worth of medical insurance premiums. So it's, it's very, very cheap when you compare it to medical insurance. And I've actually significantly improved my health with this device. So our next meter is this Cornet meter. This is an electrosmog meter and it's a little bit like the Tri-Field. It'll pick up on magnetic fields, but it'll also pick up on microwave fields. And this particular model is the ED75. And I'm very happy with this meter. This was about $160. And uh, it will actually pick up on the pulses coming out of smart meters and AMR meters. So it's very, very useful. And it also has a bar graph display that logs the last set of readings so you can chart it over a period of time. So it's, uh, it's a really, really good meter. And the nice thing about it is it's compact. So you can take this all over the place and nobody will really know what you're doing because most people will never recognize that this is an electromagnetic radiation meter. So uh, it's very, very good for surveying your neighborhood and your workplace where people may take offense to you taking electromagnetic readings. So talking about microwave fields, this is an RF meter. This is the 10 Mars, it's the TM. 196 meter and I've actually had two of these. My first one, I actually unfortunately got one of those meters that failed within the first few weeks of purchase. So it was replaced under warranty and this is my second meter and they both display the similar behaviors and uh, it's very, very useful for cell phone tower work. If you want to understand the radiation fields coming off cell phone towers, this meter is the way to go. This cost me around $300 at the time when I purchased it. These meters have a tendency of coming down in price over time. So uh, yeah, I, it works very, very well around cell phone towers. I live within six to 700 meters of cell phone towers and I can detect the fields coming off those towers, both outside my home and inside my home. And there's actually a few parts of my home that are very, very low radiation readings on this RF meter. And the contrast is there's some areas in my home that have quite high values, um, particularly in the garden. I have about 700 volts per meter on this meter in my garden. 
in certain areas. So it's very good for detecting hotspots of radiation that you may want to avoid, particularly in your bedrooms. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know, there's very high RF fields around now. And these RF fields today are extensively proven to be harmful to human health. So this is a very, very valuable meter. And uh, when I do microwave work, this is the meter I tend to use. And uh, to get confirmation, I tend to use the other meters just to confirm the values that's coming off this meter. So I'm very happy with this meter. And there's a final meter that I have that none of the other meters will pick up on. And this is a battery powered radar and laser detector. And this is the Whistler XTR445. And it is excellent for carrying around with you in and out of shops because a lot of shops and also workplaces use radar automatic door opening devices. And the problem with those devices is they fill the entire area with radar frequencies. And I've not really been able to find any test data that actually says that those radar frequencies are safe. So you may want to identify where these radar frequencies are and avoid them. You know, most big box stores now use radar door openers. So every time you go into a big box store, you're probably walking through a radar field that this device would probably detect. So it's very, very useful for determining whether the places that you go in your daily routine are actually producing radar that you can't sense because the human body can't sense it. But the, the very interesting thing about this is it will also sense laser and certain light bulbs give out the frequency that this will pick up on. And I've certainly seen this pick up an alarm for laser on compact fluorescent light bulbs. So there's something in certain compact fluorescent lights that will trigger the laser function on this device. So that's my collection of wireless radiation meters that I have. I pretty much consider this collection complete for doing the work that I do. And uh, I just wanted to share it with you. So all the work that I've done to develop the information that's in this book was done with these devices. And it's basically what I would recommend people to purchase if you're going to get into this kind of work and uh, define your environment. It's probably the base set of tools that you need to do it. And I should mention that I've actually been able to take my health from being very poor at the age of 39 to being very healthy at the age of 43. So it took a few years to do it, but a primary cause for my poor health when I was 39 was exposure to these various electromagnetic fields. And that also matches the observations of many, many researchers in this field that electromagnetic fields are extensively biologically toxic with long-term exposure to it. And we appear to be on the verge of uh, seeing that occur and be recognized with cell phones. And I'm sure that's going to spread into the various wireless devices as time goes on. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.